Hi there, in this class I will show you how to use EasyMotion, one of my favorite plugins that I use with IdeaVim. So let's see how to use the EasyMotion plugin. But first, if you are new to IdeaVim, I have linked an introduction video to the description and somewhere on your screen that walks you through a basic setup. Also, I've added a couple of blog posts that I wrote on the subject. So let's jump back to the plugin. So let's say that my cursor is on this variable over here and let's say I want to go to this max eval samples attribute. So one way of doing so is use the search of course. So it's uh, I can search for max and then hit next, next and then maybe I want to delete this attribute, right? Another way to do the same thing is maybe use line jump. So I can go, as you can see here, the relative line number is 10. So I can go 10 down and then I can find the first character in that attribute name which is M so I can hit FM and then next so I can delete it so as you can see with both uh, um, ways I had to jump to the next occurrence because the same attribute name is used in multiple places in my source code however with easy motion that becomes pretty simple I can use the search forward the provided by easy motion that I map to leader J so for jump so I, I hit leader J and then I type M as you can see all the words that have the letter M gets these uh, unique label added to them so in my case I want to jump over here so the label here is CC so if I go back put my cursor here and uh, type CC I will jump directly to there and the same I can search backward. So for example, let's say I'm on this attribute over here and maybe I wanna to jump to this tasks a variable over here. What I can do is search backward that I map to leader capital J, so leader capital J, and then I hit T. And then as you can see here, it's a DD. So I'm back over here. Another cool feature with Easy Motion is that you can combine it with other commands. So one example would be, let's say that I want to highlight from the append function up until the evaluate function over here. So one way of doing so, I can start the visual mode using V and then hit leader J to search forward and then E. And as you can see, BB is the unique ID next to my evaluate function. So if I type BB, I can use that. Maybe I want to delete all this uh, section. So now let's jump to how to set up the plugin. So the first step would be to install the S Jump and IdeaVim Easy Motion plugins from the IDE plugin settings. Once that's done, I think you will need to restart your IDE. Then you will need to go and add the following lines to your IdeaVim RC. So the first line is to enable the plugin because I think by default the plugin is disabled. Uh, I'm using the plug uh, command format because I like I like it over the set uh, command because here I can see what is the Vim uh, plugin that is getting uh, emulated and also this is the GitHub uh, project name so I can go and search for any documentation if I want and the following two lines are the mappings that I'm using so as you saw in the demo uh, I'm using the uh, search forward that is mapped to leader J and search backward that is mapped to leader capital J. And there are 80 other supported commands that you can use. Uh, basically, when you jump to a specific location, you can either jump to the end of the word or the beginning of the word. You can even say that when I jump, I want to always jump to the uh, beginning of the line or the end of the line. However, I find these two uh, functions that I'm mapping here sufficient because if I want to do, uh, for example, jump to the beginning of the line, I can just jump to this location and hit zero and go to the end of uh, to the beginning of the line or hit the dollar sign to go to the end of the line. And this avoids having to remember like a bunch of extra shortcuts. And that's it. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos on IdeaVim.